This lesson is on defining a custom PHP function where data comes out from it, its output or returned from the function. Here's our simple form again. Put in my name, submit the button. Hi Steve, again, truly exciting, but let's see how we did it. All right, here we are, here's the code. That's just the form like you've seen in the past. Let's go to the PHP code. And I did this in a little bit different way. Here, you notice the first line of code, I don't have the display message function just by itself. I have it to the right of an equal sign. And we all remember that what's on the right side of the equal sign is what's processed first. So let's go look for this function. All the way down here, display message. Okay, nothing's coming into it. So within the function, I am getting the first name to a variable saying hi first name. This time though, instead of just being done here and printing from the function, I have a keyword called return. Return says whatever follows me, whatever value, whether it's in a variable or not, send that value back from whoever called this function. Now, so it's going to return display, see? Display is this whole paragraph name. Hmm, interesting. So let's go back up and look at the code. So it runs this. Now this gets essentially changed into whatever was returned. What was returned was this, essentially this paragraph here, returned as dollar $display in the return statement. So now it's received into a variable here, dollar return data. So what this function did got loaded or returned into here. Notice that the variable names are not the same. What is returned, dollar $display, doesn't have to be the same as the variable that I receive it in. We're really passing data back and forth. We're never really passing variable names. So return data and then I print what was returned from the function. So hi Steve. Again, nothing terribly exciting, but as we get going, we're gonna get into more complexities with functions. This will get you started with data that comes out of a function and is returned. This ends our lesson on returning data from a function.